Hi everyone and welcome back. And today I'm going to be looking at Samplab, a creative VST plugin as well as now a desktop app that will take your audio, split all the notes and then allow you to edit those notes and then export it back. A quick preview of what it does. Here's our original sample. That's the audio file that we can load into the application and it will take it all the notes apart and then we can edit it just like this example like So let's have a look at it on my desktop and see what we can do with it. But before we get started and before you download it, make sure you create your free online account with Samplab, as I have and I've logged in. That way it'll keep synchronized because the application will require you to log in. Because the way it works, even though you have a desktop application, but any audio file that you load into the application or the VST plugin, whichever one you are using, it will send it up to the cloud to be processed and the result will be returned back. So for that reason, you do need the account. And for account, there are two basic options. The basic free 10 second audio file as mono output. And that's what I'm going to be testing today. So if you decide that Samplab is something for you, you can upgrade to the 799 for up to 100 seconds and the stereo output. And I should mention right here that I have no affiliation with Samplab. I'm simply reviewing their product. So I've downloaded, installed Samplab, and then for the first time running, it asked me for the username and the password. And that's the same username and the password that I used for my website account. So they are now in sync as well. And this is what it basically looks like. So you can save projects as well. It looks like you can export the mix and the stems because it is multi-file loading as well. So you can load multiple files at the same time, like a DAW. That's our account settings. So we'll uh, learn more about it as I use it. So I'm going to load a sample. Here are my samples. I've got a guitar. I'm just going to drag it and click it. And because my loop file has already mentioned in the file name, the BPM and the key, it automatically smart enough to detect that saying that, would you like me to use the 101 BPM for this sample in a C major key, or you can let it estimate. So I'm going to leave it as is because that's from the sample files. And I'm just going to click harmonic because it's uh, melodic sounds. If it was drums, percussive, that's the option I would select. And with the percussive, it really doesn't do anything other than detect the beats. There's no editing for the drums. So let's select harmonic. Here we go. 101 BTM, 16 bits of duration. Let's have a listen. Okay, of course we can change that. If Samplab did detect it and it wasn't correct, we can actually correct it here as well. We'll do that next time round. I'm just going to click done. So now that sample file is being uploaded to Samplab Cloud and the result we've just received. I'm just going to click on that. And here we are right at the bottom. So let's have a listen. Okay, there's a little bit of sort of note discrepancy right about here. Yep. Anyway, let's have it change, see if we can change the notes.
Okay. We can even hear the notes as we are moving, which is good. Of course, we can zoom in vertically as well as horizontally. I wonder if that note, let's mute that. That's much cleaner. But then again, we can even extend the notes. So we can extend this note to cover that. You get the idea. I think it's uh, not bad. Detected quite really great. And one thing we can also change are the volume of that particular note. There we go. Just, I just made it dramatic so we can go. All the way. And we can duplicate notes as well. Let's select that note and duplicate it. And now. Uh, so it's quite easy and intuitive. There's not much else that you can do. And that's what it allows you to do. So I can click now and drag, and now I have a WAV file that's been modified. Let's play it. There we go. Now I'm not sure if I can export MIDI. I was hoping it did. I was under the impression that it did. Export mix and export stems, no? Maybe it doesn't. Well, if you are aware of this and you know how you can export MIDI, maybe in the VST plugin you can. Let me know in the comment section below. I can't work out how to export MIDI. I know you can export the audio. Let's have a look now for a strum. See how well it will actually do a strum. And this time I'm going to say estimate the tempo and the key. Let's see if it's going to detect it correctly. It detected G major. All right. That's probably right. <laughs> I mean, it is in the key of C major, but it is a G major as well. Right. All done. Doesn't take that long. I mean, it's 10 seconds. So let's have a listen to what it does. I've muted. That's mute and solo. So I'm just going to mute that. First one, and let's have a listen to the strum. Now, did you notice how it was different? Because it detected in a G major, but our project is C major. So if we go into G major, okay, let's change our project into G minor. Or let's change that into maybe an F. Let's go lower. So as you can see, we can not only edit individual notes, whether if it's a, a, a pick guitar or a strum, we can edit the notes, extend it, delete it, mute it, change the volume. We can also automatically change the key of it as well as you've just seen so this is really great small niche application that you can use if you use a lot of samples in your musical arrangement a lot of the time 
some samples and the key and the scale don't match the rest of the instrumentation. So this way you can load up the section that you want, edit the note, edit the key, even correct some, and then you can export it as a WAV file and then back into your project. So my final thoughts, it's an interesting project. It has few quirks. Some of the audio are, is not as smooth once been detected. But as a first iteration, I think it's really, really great. I'm sure it has great prospect in the future with lots of updates and bug fixes and corrections as well. Maybe a MIDI output as well. So you can just drag the MIDI notes. And that way you can grab a sample of an instrument that's being played, get the MIDIs, and then use that MIDI to trigger a different VST instrument. As I said, maybe the plugin VST version does that. I'm not sure. I haven't checked that out. If you have, let me know in the comment section below. As far as using the software, I haven't read one single documentation and it was very easy to work it, very easy to understand what to do and how to do. Everything is right in front, one window, and it all works. Well, I hope you find SampLab useful. If you do, let me know if you use it in your projects as well. And if you find this video helpful, give me the thumbs up, subscribe if you like. Thanks for watching and have a great time making music and I'll catch you in the next one.